I've been asking for tissue since I've been here. I've been asking for tissue since I've been here. Yeah, but this is not. And there's still no tissue in any of the bathrooms. I've been asking for tissue since I've been here. I've been asking for tissue. No one's giving me any tissue. I also need another diaper. I need another diaper and I need some tissue. I've been asking for tissue since I've been here. Now she's mad because I'm using paper towels. What, am, what else am I supposed to do? Can I have a diaper, please? This shouldn't be like pulling teeth. I, I, this is. You don't provide those personal things for patients. How am I supposed to know that when I'm not from here? Okay, so somebody should have informed me. Mr. Oscar update that interaction captured in the record. Did video, video at um, Conrail Regional Hospital. The U.S. woman document interaction inside the Conrail Regional Hospital and make several claims on the video. So, the, according to the health minister, there's no shortage of tissues, says Tufton after the vi the video went viral what else is he going to say to the world the health and wellness minister christopher tufton has asked for an update to understand the context and circumstances after a u.s woman posted a video on social media in which she expressed dissatisfaction after receiving care at a hospital in western Kingston. Now, we all know about the, a lot of issues in the hospital. And now it boiled down to a simple thing as tissue, not even tissue they don't have in the hospital to give the patients or what they use. They use them hand to wipe. He also made it clear there's no shortage of tissues in the public health sector. According to the woman's Instagram account, she was in Jamaica for a wedding and was admitted to Cornwall Regional Hospital but was reportedly not allowed visitors. So that means if you're in a hospital and you're not allowed visitors, and especially when the person is not from that country and don't know the system and can't get no visitors in, on top of that, she not, she can't, she not have tissue. So if she keep not allowed visitors, how is she going to have somebody to bring stuff into her? In her post Instagram, which is a video recorded inside the hospital a few days ago, she attempted to access paper towel because she had been asking for towel for toilet paper but was not given any. She also claimed the hospital did not have drinking water. They keep sending different doctors in saying different things. The first night, she said, I begged for a wet paper towel to put in my mouth because my mouth was so dry. I could no longer swallow. My throat was closing up and I have had trouble breathing. And this is the caption which accompanied the video read. She claimed too that she had not been washed and had no way of contacting the nurses and staff for assistance. She said she couldn't use her voice until the night after. So she had to tap her nails on the reel to get the other women in the other beds around her to call the nurse to help her. The woman who shared publicly in the post that she lost her baby said that she was bleeding and no one was trying to give her diapers. In the video, she was heard repeating, asking a nurse for diapers and toilet paper. And the nurse pointed out that the hospital doesn't provide personal things for patients. The woman said she haven't had any attitude until they tried to deny her paper towels to wipe herself with. The nurses look at her like something stink. And she's been nothing but humble. 
She said she told them many times, I'm a CNA, a GNA, so she understood how it goes in hospital. And she didn't want to be a nuisance to them. The woman also claimed that the hospital was trying to cash in on her stay there. And in response to the video X, formerly known Twitter, Tuftan, Tuftan said he has asked for an update on the matter. He also noted that toilet paper is always provided for patients, but clarified that it is sometimes provided on request due to some patients taking away once placed in bathrooms. And that is, that's understandable if they have to request it. But when they request it, give it to them. Don't let them have to keep begging and begging and begging. He warned that it is against hospital policy to do recordings in hospital. But then, if this woman never do recording in the hospital, how would he have known that they're not giving tissues out in the hospital? Nowadays, recording is what is helping out a lot of situations. It can do bad, it can do damages, but it can be something positive. And in this case, it is positive because maybe going forward, this nurse who says that will be more cautious and know that when somebody asks for toilet paper, then get it. The minister followed up that tweet by sharing a later post detailing that there are more than 1,700 Cases of domestic tissue in stock at the Western Regional Health Authority's warehouse and that 1,500 more are on order. So why aren't these people giving them out? If there are so many there, why aren't they giving them out? Why are they storing them there and the patients need them? And he said they are distributed weekly at all hospitals, and there are no shortages. Cornwall Regional Hospital is part of the network of the hospitals under the Western Regional Health Authorities. Meanwhile, in a follow-up post to her Instagram page on Sunday, the woman shared that she ended up speaking to the healthcare providers at the hospital after making the video and getting them to understand where she was coming from. She said the nurses were remorseful and from that point on it was nothing but respect you see what i'm saying she explained to them where she was coming from i guess she probably explained to them that she worked in a hospital explained to them that she's from america so because she explained to them where she's coming from then them show her respect there what about the, the people who are in jamaica and the poor people who are in jamaica so because where she's coming from. Things suddenly change. She got a roll of paper. Of toilet paper. And they were letting her fiancé come and see her. After she explained. So I am saying. What if she wasn't from America. And work in medical field. However. She reiterated the following. What it, what it really comes down to is the distrust she had in the doctors and nurses. She was supposed to trust at least bare minimum the extortion of her loved ones to come and see her. She said she felt she was finessed, rushed into surgery. That could have waited until she got home. She really felt that after a while that she was kept there because she had to pay out of pocket before she left the hospital. The longer she was there, the more she was going to end up having to pay. And that's how she felt. She, she never felt any trust or safety or security in the hospital. At the, the time when she was there. And she said all now she wants to do going forward. Is just to heal. This don't look good coming out of Jamaica. But at the same time. We know the hospital system. 
People have been complaining and complaining and complaining. And Tuftan is, his ministry is one of the worst ministry. Them said um, that the crime is one of the worst. But if you compare both of them, it's hard to tell which one is better. Whether it's the Minister of Justice or the Minister of Health. And the two ministries has to do directly, has to deal directly in a very intimate way with people. Really should have been shifted to another ministry. And a, a, a person who can deal with health, the health issues or know how to deal with health issues should be the one who is leading the charge, who should be the minister for the health system. Are you tired of browsing all over the latest happenings in Jamaica? Discover it right here on Jamaica News Online TV YouTube channel. Foreigner home and you want to be in touch with the happenings in Jamaica? Guess what? You are in the right place. We bring you reactions to the latest news at 6 a.m., 12 noon, and straight up news at 6 p.m. Ask and you shall receive, guys. So if you are watching this video, like, subscribe, comment, or share, hit that subscribe button. And remember to comment below with your thoughts. Guys, make sure you come back again and again to watch our videos. Remember, 6 a.m., 12 p.m., and 6 p.m. We are always here to give you. Guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment down below.